Have you ever thought, what was before internet? World's knowledge was on bookshelves only. Journey of internet began, at the time of Cold War. At that time, one of the chief's concern, was that, if nuclear attack happens, could the United States communicate fast enough to deal with if to resolve this issue. JCR Liklida proposed the idea of internet in 1962. And then, in 1969, Adverse Research Project Agency developed ARPANET. ARPANET was our first internet. ARPANET stands for Adverse Research Project Agency Network. But, how were computers connected to each other on those days? The answer is telephone lines. Telephone lines were used to connect one computer to another in a network. Another feature of ARPANET was it used the concept of packet switching. Now, what is packet switching? It is a mode of transmission of data in which messages are broken down into small pieces before transmission. What happened when the first data transmission took place over internet? On October 29, 1969 the first message, login, was transmitted from Uckler Research Lab to Stanford. But, only LO was transmitted before the Stanford's computer crashed. Everybody was shocked to see this. But hey, they never give up too easily. About an hour after the crash, the system was recovered and the full login message was sent. At the end of 1996, only four computers were attached in ARPANET. At first it wasn't clear what the network's practical purpose was. But as time passes, ARPANET were being used to trade messages, exchange files, gain remote access, share resources. In the year of 1971, ARPANET expanded its network. University of Hawaii's AlohaNet was added to ARPANET. And within two years, Network of London was also attached to ARPANET. Now, a problem arised as more and more network were getting attached to ARPANET. Communication between computers was becoming difficult too. To overcome this issue and allow cross-platform communication, Windsurf and Bob Kahn introduced TCPIP. In 1971, first electronic messaging system was invented. Ray Tomlinson introduces electronic messaging. Electronic message is also known as a mail. It was the first system to send mail back and forth. By the following year, email was responsible for 75% of ARPANET traffic. To organize internet, Tim Berners-Lee developed World Wide Web in 1989. Now, generation of wireless technology began. Let's see the first generation of wireless technology. 1G launched in Japan by NTT in 1979, with max speed 2.4 Kelvins BPS, uses analog data transmission. Now, let's see the second generation of wireless technology. 2G launched in Finland by Radiolinia in 1991. 
with max speed 0.1 mbps uses digital data transmission on the 15th of august 1995 vsnl launched the first internet service in india within six months 10,000 indians were connected to internet in 1996 first mobile phone with internet connectivity was launched and named as nokia 9000 now let's talk about the third generation of wireless technology 3g launched in japan by ntt du county mo in 1998 with max speed 7.2 mbps uses digital data transmission on the 11th of december 2008 mtnl launched the first 3g mobile in india the fourth generation of wireless technology 4G launched in Finland by Telia Sonera in 2009 with speed 3 to 10 Mbps uses digital data transmission Telecom firm Bharati Airtel launched India's first 4G high speed internet data service using telecommunications technology in 2012 with average downloading speed 9.3 Mbps Want to know about 5G and 6G? Curious to know what a miracle 5G and 6G can do? Like and subscribe my channel to see my upcoming video on 5G and 6G networks. Fact that will blow your mind. No one owns and no one controls the internet. If you like the video, then go, and hit the like button. Share this video with your friends too. Don't forget to subscribe the channel, to stay updated with our latest videos.